I'd like to continue to talk about what we may not see and yet we receive, especially from our ancestors who have gone before us. So I'd like to talk about the concept of Okage-sama. So I'd like to start by reading a passage from Shinran's Hymns of the Pure Land, which is the Jodo Wasan, on how we are continuously supported in this world by others. So please, once again, join me in Gasho as I read this passage. When we say Namo Amidabutsu, the countless Buddhas throughout the ten quarters, surrounding us a hundredfold, a thousandfold, rejoice in and protect us. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. So Okagasama is a Japanese word that means because of you, and more literally uh, it means benefiting from your shade. So it's the understanding that I'm here because of all the support seen and unseen that I received from so many. For me, it's not only for my friends and family, and those closest to me that I can identify, but really all the ministers and members past and present that have led the way. It includes all those on the list that I read earlier that we're honoring today, and really includes all of you here today. Okagasama recognizes the gifts to sustain life that are un unconditionally given to us from so many different sources, both material and non-material. Okagasama expresses the inconceivable karmic source and universal truth behind my experiences. So it's really humbling if you, when you deeply think about this, coming to the understanding that there are so many causes and conditions that have contributed to my path and coming to the realization that Amida's unconditional ball of incon inconceivable compassion embraces me and helps me understand my existence. Okagasama helps us to become aware of a path that we may not have seen in the time, but has always been there. It is often when we take the time to look back that we see this path. So awakening to this simple but profound truth provides comfort and joy in appreciating the quality of our daily life, a life of Namo Amidabutsu. So memorial services like today are an opportunity to hear the Buddha's teachings. The teaching asks us to reflect on our lives and to deepen our understanding of who we are and what our life is all about. We're encouraged to follow the Buddhist path through rituals and ceremonies, giving form to the formless or something tangible to something difficult to understand. So in this way, our everyday thinking is challenged. Shifting our perspective and gaining a new way of seeing the world is important. When rituals and ceremonies are done without meaning, how we think and experience the world becomes and be, remains unchanged. So these rituals we do are forms that allow us to see what is not visible. So in a memorial service, we are encouraged to reflect on our connection to the, our ancestors that we're honoring today and feel a sense of appreciation for our lives due to them. These ceremonies and rituals are the container keeping alive this spirit. The rituals like chanting, incense offering, bowing before the altars, singing a gatha, and listening to a dharma talk, they help us channel our feelings and emotions towards understanding life in a more spiritual way. And this is how we can see what, what is formless and sense time that is eternal. Now in our Jodo Shinshu tradition, Amida Buddha, or compassionate working, is represented by light that penetrates everything without any hindrance, whether we are aware of it or not. And through Amida's light, I'm reminded to see the other power surrounding me. It gives me a great deal of comfort and joy to know I am supported by so much. Now I was just watching a Netflix um, series called All the Light We Cannot See. Uh, it's based on a Pulitzer Prize winning novel. Has anybody seen this? <laughs> Connie has. <laughs> we watched it together. So I encourage you to watch it. It's, it's actually really quite good. So it's about a French girl who is blind who meets a German soldier in occupied France during World War II. And there's a line in it that I think really struck me. The line goes, the most important light is the light you cannot see. So I'll read that again. The most important light is a light you cannot see. So in this series, for one character, that light meant love and hope. For another, it meant truth. Light also has a meaning of intrinsic kindness in humanity, which was highly resistant to violence and destruction during this wartime story. So I know I didn't do it justice in this short description, but the meaning of light and how we experience it really, really
really resonated with me. Now, too often we overlook or take things we cannot see for granted. Okagasama helps us to reconnect to these karmic sources and universal truths. The phrase Okagasama humbles us to realize that we cannot exist on our own. And believe it or not, we cannot exist without David Tuguri, too. I had to throw that in there. Are you awake, David? <laughs> So when we realize that we are not self-made individuals, we are able to exist and realize something about ourselves and the dynamics of life. We recognize our self-centered nature, yet we know we are embraced unconditionally by the universal vow of the Buddha, which gives us a heart and mind of true gratitude. So when we say Namo Amidabutsu, it's the calling voice of the Buddha. It's the Buddha's command to us to wake up. So living a life of Nembutsu is not about what I can do, but understanding that what I am the recipient of. And this is changing our perspective of the directionality of benefit. It's Okagasama, which helps me to understand that even though I may feel alone and isolated right now during so much turmoil in the world, I would not be here with all the support seen and unseen that I received from so many. And by realizing this, it changes us in how we act. So as an example, when we look at the Naijin, the first thing we see is the Amida Buddha statue. Amida is not a deity or something we worship. It does not control our lives or judge us in any way. And this Amida Buddha statue represents an expression of something that we cannot see. It, it is immeasurable light in life, which is the representation of immeasurable wisdom unfolding as compassion. So it's an expression of ultimate reality. So what that immeasurable com measurable compassion means is that we are always embraced in our lives and supported by so much and so many. So Jodo Shinshu often uses forms uh, to manifest the formless stories and narratives to explain difficult concepts and Amida Buddha is not any different. So we should each develop our own understanding of what Amida means to us. So when I rep said Amida represents that we are always embraced in our lives and supported by so many, what does that really mean? And what does being embraced means? You know, I spoke to the kids about the five love languages uh, description, and, and, and being embraced can mean physical touch, like a hug. But I think in this case, it means to be welcomed and accepted completely. So maybe a metaphorical hug. The statue represents dynamic compassion without any discrimination because we are accepted, and that means we can accept others. So the statue has symbolism that helps us be mindful of its meaning. The gold color, so much gold up here, is symbolic of high value and stays pure. So it represents the ideal that the truth does not tarnish over time. It's symbolic for how the Buddha sees the world and everyone and every, uh, everything having high value. So it's not like how we see the world making distinctions like like and dislike or self and other. And the statue is also sitting on a lotus. I don't know if you can see that up there or see it on the, on the screen. <clears throat> and the lotus is a widely used symbol, widely used symbol of Buddhism. And the lotus grows in the murkiest mud, not in spite of that, but because of that. It symbolizes the purity and perfection unaffected by the seeming <clears throat> impurity that surrounds it. And the Mita statue is also standing, and if you look from the side, it's, it's slightly leaning forward, symbolic of the dynamic nature of Amida Buddha or wisdom and compassion always coming toward us. And the hand gestures are called mudras, the thumb and index fingers joined to form a circle or wheel of perfection indicating no beginning and no end. The right hand is raised to shoulder level with palm facing outward symbolizing wisdom or no fear. And the left hand hangs with palm facing outward symbolizing compassion. So seeing the statue of Amida is a form that is a way for us to see and understand what is difficult to see. Amida's wisdom helps me to see myself in life as it really is, not just how I wish it to be. And compassion en enhances my appreciation for things and assures me that I am embraced by a wider community and not forsaken as an isolated individual. So it is experiencing the ultimate in our usually limited self. Okagasama is the understanding that we are only here because of the help of others. And these include the people who are we are honoring today, including David Tuguri. In this memorial service uh, of those we are honoring, 
and even if you don't know any of the names on the list, causing, causes and conditions have brought us together today. And this is the dynamic working of karma. So the working of dharma is all around us, but we are usually blind to it. And it is the Buddha's activity that is making us notice. If we can notice that living is a function of receiving, everything is causing us to live. And this can be a starting point of our awakening to our foolish self. This awakening is Buddha activity. So if we can gradually deepen our awareness of the true self, the gentle awareness of the foolish being emerges with boundless compassion. Of course, Amida's compassion is always there for us. The light of compassion is always shining brightly without obstruction. But this realization, the realization of this oneness takes time, just like a child learning to swim by first dipping their toe in the water. So we, as we do our best to be grateful to the shadow of others, we must not forget that we too cast a shadow as we in a small way pass on the kindness that we receive to others. It's not limited to those currently in the world, but due to karmic reality are for future actions that we may never see. So let us awaken to our life of Okage-sama, a life of gratitude, understanding our life is due to the lives of others. So I'd like to close by again reading the passage from Shinran's Hymns of the Pure Land, or the Jodo Wasan, on how we are co continuously supported by our ancestors. So please join me in Gasho as I read this passage. When we say Namo Amidabutsu, the countless Buddhas throughout the ten quarters, surrounding us a hundredfold, a thousandfold, rejoice in and protect us. Namo Amidabutsu. Namo Amidabutsu. Thank you.